a Friday came and you know everybody when you were in the world, hey, Friday's come, it's time to get dressed up, it's time to party, because Fridays and Saturdays were the party days. But that Friday, I just, my, my heart, my, my spirit, my mind, it, it something just, from that morning, it was just something like, I just felt that I, I wasn't supposed to leave the house. Friends started banging in the door. Bam, 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 hey, what's up? You coming out or what? Something told me, don't respond to them. Don't answer the door. At the third time, when I was about to get up and try to respond and answer the door, a voice said, if you leave tonight, you're not coming back home. So, you know, what I did was I just laid in the couch. I said, okay, you know what? I'm, gonna go, I'm just gonna lay here. And boom, I, I just fell asleep. When I fell asleep, not, not, I don't know how long I was asleep, but all I know and I remember is that when I closed my eyes, as soon as I closed my eyes, I opened my eyes. I can see myself laying in the couch and my face was stuck in the ceiling. I was upside down. And next thing you know, I stopped moving in circles slowly, but I'm going faster and faster and fast. And, I, and I'm starting, I'm, I'm speeding up here. And the faster as I'm going, I can hear these voices, real demons, like wicked voices just laughing at me. Next thing you know, I find myself in this dark place. Dark. Like this light just started shining. And it allowed me to see these things. And then suddenly, I see five demons. Five demons that are around me. And what I can see with these demons is that some of them have real big mouths, like rats. Some of them look like bats. And some of them were pretty much different deformed, kind of but very scary. And their eyes were like a very wicked, evil, yellow, red, and green. I remember that. And all they were doing, they were laughing. They were like, <laughs> I can hear this clearly, like if it was yesterday. And then I look in front of me and I see this big black tunnel. And I can hear the tunnel going. And I'm floating on the air, and I'm moving forward. As I'm going into this tunnel, I see a tiny little light at the end. So when I see that little light, I'm like, I'm, I'm safe. Oh, I'm going to be all right. So when I got to the end of this tunnel, the light is gone. So now everything's quiet. I don't see anything, no one. And I'm standing there. And next thing you know, this fire just came out of nowhere and it went straight up. And then, you know, in the mornings, you open your curtains in the mornings. Well, this is how the fire is split in half. When that fire opened up, a voice said, look in there. When I took a forward look, I, I, I moved forward to look, you can see these people burning and burning and burning, and then you can hear, but that's the flesh that's coming off of you. And I can see maggots, real big maggots just going through them and going through their brains and going through their heads, going through their, and through their eyes and going through their nose. You can, I can see all this thing happening and, then, and they're just screaming and screaming and screaming. And then there was like, there was like caves and then there were like cells. Um, there was more trees that were just dead. The air there was, I mean, there's no air to breathe. I mean, there's, it's, it's suffocating in there. There was no water, there's no food, there's no sleep, there's no rest. This is day and night, day and night. Demons are there morning, swing ship, and graveyard. Day and night, they're torturing you. They're torturing you in every which way. They can tear you apart in pieces. They use sores or they just use their power because that's how big they are. They can put their hands over your head and just squeeze it. They can tear your head off. They can tear your body. They'll cut you to pieces. And every piece in your body and everything, you're aware. And I was scared. I was crying. I was crying. I remember I kind of, I bowed my, I, 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 I kind of like, like a little bubble and I was crying because I didn't know where I was at still. I had no idea what was going on.
And next thing you know, this big light comes, appears to me, a, a bright, bright light on my right hand side. And this light, as soon as the light hit me, this peace came over me. And I see this big, tall, beautiful angel, about seven, eight foot angel, big, real long, beautiful blonde hair. And he had this smile, like he was so peaceful. It was such an amazing peace. I, you know, I, I, I knew it was an angel because, I mean, you can't miss that. Um, and he had a big sword, the sword of fire. And he spoke to me. He said, Mario. He said again, Mario. And I didn't want to move. I didn't want to look because I was already afraid. I don't know if these things were going to snag me back into that place. He said, it's okay, look. And this peace came over me. And I kind of got up and I looked at him. He goes, do you know where you're at? I said, no. I shook my head, no. He said, if today was your day, he said, this would be your portion. This would you would spend eternal life. This is hell. He says, you are in hell. He said, Who's your God? I said, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't answer him. I just shook my head. I don't know. And then a little window opened up. And I remember Ronnie and Ron, Donnie and Ron. I, I, how can I forget them? Those are the ones that used to pick us up in the church bus. They used to come pick us up. They used to come up to me with their Bibles open and say, hey, Jesus loves you. When they said, Jesus loves you, the window closed. And the angel asked me again, who's your God? I said, Jesus. He said, scream it. Scream it out loud, he said. I said, Jesus. And it just his name just echoed through these tunnels. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then that's when I, I woke up. I remember waking up. And I remember... Those two brothers, those two brothers again, when they said, when I said to Jesus when I was eight years old, but I walked away. Coming to my heart, I, re I repent and I ask for your forgiveness. And I remember those and I got on my knees and I looked up to the heavens and I said, please forgive me, Lord. Forgive me of all of my sins. I repent. Coming to my heart, I said, and when I said coming to my heart, I, this like electricity buzzing noise from inside of my feet. It just zzzz, zzzz, came out. And from that point on, this peace came over me. I couldn't stand drugs. I couldn't stand um, alcohol. I couldn't stand cigarette. I couldn't stand anything. I was delivered. And I felt that day, that night, like, I never did drugs, I never smoked, I never drank. I felt like a brand new man. 